BVB's nightmare. Borussia Dortmund's lead slips away against Heidenheim. Friday, September 1, 2023, 10:45 p.m. In a perplexing turn of events, Borussia Dortmund squandered a comfortable 2-0 lead against the spirited one. FC Heidenheim, resulting in an unexpected 2-2, 2-0 draw on Friday evening. Niklas Fulkrug's high-profile debut for Dortmund was marred by chaotic scenes and video controversies, leaving the fans stunned and the start of the season in disarray. The evening took a dramatic twist in the final minutes as referee Tobias Reichel initially rescinded a penalty awarded against Dortmund when the score stood at 2-1, only to later consult the video evidence and reinstate it. Tim Kleindienst, 83 feet, stepped up for Heidenheim, securing their first-ever Bundesliga point with a well-converted penalty. Niklas Fulkrug, the national striker who made a surprise move from Werder Bremen to BVB just a day prior, received a warm welcome from the fans but remained on the bench until the 78th minute. The central attacking position was firmly occupied by Sebastian Haller for the time being, although circumstances might change rapidly. Unfortunately for Dortmund, Haller had a forgettable night and was responsible for conceding the crucial equalizing penalty. Initially, Heidenheim struggled to contain Dortmund's relentless attack. Julian Brandt opened the scoring in the 7th minute, followed by Imre Kent's handball penalty in the 15th minute to make it 2-0. For a while, it seemed like a one-sided exhibition against a resilient but seemingly overmatched opponent. However, Heidenheim's Oren Dinkchi, 61st, clawed one back, and from there, the underdogs fought valiantly to mount a comeback. As expected, BVB started the match with a high defensive line, leaving Heidenheim little room to breathe. Brandt came close to doubling his tally with a shot that rattled the crossbar, while an earlier handball biking went unnoticed by referee Reichel. Nevertheless, the TV replays led to a handball call against former BVB junior player Leonard Maloney just minutes later. The contest appeared to be firmly in Dortmund's grasp, with Heidenheim rarely threatening in their attempts to break down the resilient Dortmund defense. Marcel Sabitzer, 19th, 25th, and the impressive Daniel Malin, 28th, had opportunities to extend the lead further in the first half. However, Heidenheim mounted a spirited comeback in the second half, with coach Frank Schmidt introducing Marvin Perringer alongside Tim Kleindienst. Perringer had a decent chance himself, 49th, and Patrick Menka, 51st, thought he had found the net, but a lengthy video review ruled out the goal due to a purported handball by Perringer. Despite facing a much less dominant Dortmund side, Heidenheim exposed their vulnerability against seemingly inferior opponents. Dortmund continued to miss clear-cut chances, with Daniel Malin, Rami Bensabeni, and Haller being the chief culprits. As the match progressed, Heidenheim grew bolder, eventually committing Dortmund's Sebastian Haller to a crucial foul in the penalty area, leading to the dramatic late penalty that sealed a surprising draw. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.